well guys we are on the first agenda that is to provision your own data centers and uh, how you'll be monitoring and uh, administrating your own data centers so we are just creating the infrastructure so where we'll create infrastructure i am just creating infrastructure on amazon web services and i will use ec2 instances for our servers so now let's quickly go to amazon web services all right so this is your uh, aws console it looks like this and uh, what you have to especially do is like since i am in uh, mumbai region so what i will select i will select this region you have to be very specific this is asia pacific mumbai so if you are from uh, us east uh, ohio or north virginia or anything whatever region is closed by you have to select that region first and then you have to go to ec2 instances because your ec2 instance is not a global instance it's a local instance and it supports your uh, area wise installing server and all those things so if you are not habituated with ec2 instance this is how your aws console will look like will look like if you click on ec2 dashboard all right so now we have to create our uh, ec2 instances so remember guys we have to create first your uh, git is not like we will be installing not on your infrastructure i mean aws console uh, i mean your ec2 instance we can do it but for this demonstration i'm not doing it i will be having jenkins there will be having a separate box for your ansible that is separate vm for your ansible and a separate vm for your apache tomcat server now let's go here and uh, click on the running instances there might be few instances what i have used earlier so what you have to do is you have to just click on launch instances click the launch instance you will set the stepper that is choose an amazon machine image so you have to choose a vendor and operating system what you want to use and uh, i am much familiar with your uh, ubuntu server they are ubuntu operating system so you have to choose ubuntu here and then you have to click the machine associated with your ubuntu so my machine is 18 it's 64 bit machine so i'm using the latest one that is 18.4 ubuntu machine so just click here now you are you have to choose your instance type how much instance type you want to do so there are a variety of instances here that is t29 uh, nano t2 micro uh, instance free time instance means if the i create instance and uh, i use it logically and uh, i configure all my systems uh, i mean within the limits then i won't be charged any penny for these configurations so this is all good click next now how many instance we need we need three instance so just click three and then go to add storage i don't need any additional storage i will take care with this storage only then you have to put tax leave it uh, as it is you can do it later then your security group so in security group you just add one more rule like you'll be allowing all those traffics so and put it anywhere uh, remember guys you have to do this only when you are in dev environment never do this setting like anywhere in your production environment in that situation your production code and your uh, infrastructure will be vulnerable for attacks so once you do this click review and launch now just see what all things you have done and if it's all look good go to launch instance now you have to select an existing key pair or create a new pair i already have a lot of key pairs if you see here but since uh for you guys what i will do i will create another key pair so that you will be familiar how to create a new pair and how to generate it so let me create a new pair here so you have to go here and create a new pair and you have to give the name of the key pair name so what i will do i will put it as as uh, my key for devops all right and then you have to download this key pair so click download this key pair so this is, has been downloaded now what you have to do you have to launch the instances so guys your instance is getting launched you can again check this not on logs you can check it these are the instance these are the logs instance logs for each of your three instances so we can go here go to ec2 your machines are getting provisioned go to your learning instances it is showing three but it has not been up properly it is doing some status checks so it will be within within minutes like okay so now what i will do i will just give a name for all those instances 
I'll let this call be a Jenkins node so this will be Jenkins and all those installation and uh, required for Jenkins will be done in this box now Jenkins okay now next will be I will putting this as your Ansible box so this will be acting as your Ansible and if this of course will be your Tomcat so so this thing is getting happen and uh, within minutes the status check will be good and we have to launch the instance on our because I am using Windows, I will be using Putty as my uh, as my interface to log into this Linux box. Well, guys, your uh, EC2 instances are now up and running. You can see the status checks are two by two. Now, in order to launch that instance on our Putty, first we have to generate a private key because uh, here we have downloaded a public key, and the public key can be only opened through your private key. So each instance will have a each copy of your private key. So these public and private keys are like padlocks. Like whatever you have in your padlocks, right? So it will be the same. So to generate a private key, what I will do, I will just go to putty gen. Alright, and then I will use here generate a public or uh, I will just use load an existing private key file. And uh, I have copied that file to downloaded file to my desktop. See, you can't see this private file because this is ppk file, but our file extension was dot dot pem. So what you have to do, you have to click here and you have to just mention all files. So you can just find this here. Now you can find this my key for devops dot pem file. Click this, open, and it shows successfully imported your foreign key. So and the other line tells to use this key for putty. You need to save private key command to save it in your putty own format so this is how it it tells you how to do it so click ok now you have to save as your private file now it is showing for your warning are you sure you want to save this key without a password to protect it yes of course i want to save this so just go ahead and click yes where you want to do this you can just click on the i mean i'm just clicking on the, the desktop and i will file i will just use this file like devops key that's it and the extension will take will be dot ppk file now save this file you can close this now you're good to open this in putty so what i will do i will just go to putty and uh, let me copy your uh, jenkins node so in order to go to your node on linux machine so you will get this ip range ip ipv4 public ip you have to copy here now go to putty click this okay now we have to load your private file what you have just downloaded and converted so what you did you converted a public key to your private key so now go to ssh click here then go to authentication now browse which auth authentication file you want to put so i will put my file devops key file it shows putty private key file click open open and now yes now this is ubuntu machine so make sure you log in as user as your ubuntu so this is authenticating and your authentication is successful just change the color the rest of the things we'll do once we'll be uh, doing all those hands on on uh, installing ansible and jenkins and your tomcat server so this is for the primary setup in your new session what we will do i will just go to this ansible thing copy ip address paste it here go to ssh the same process we have to repeat for all those three nodes not this one it is same it will be ubuntu or oh, ubuntu we have already logged in just change the color so that it is visible for you and one more thing what we will do will load your tomcat server and we are almost done with setting up our infrastructure now we have set up our linux box your virtual machine now you are good to do whatever things you want to do with respect to your case study the spelling mistake i have to do it again so th this you can use as your sandbox environment for all those project demonstration and automation purposes you can use it this instance is totally free with the limits what your amazon has provided
so we are all good we have logged in now let's update our machine so to update it the command is sudo app get update i will do for the all machine so this way whatever package your ubuntu is missing it will be updated through this command and your ubuntu will pack in linux box you will be up to date do the same for this thing also well now your all three boxes are uh, updated so our infrastructure has been created on ec2 instances what i will do now i will be creating a git repository and uh, will be setting up a git source file and uh, a version control where we'll be editing and uh, committing all those all those files which is necessary for our project so guys these are instances these are actually your uh, free instances but i will suggest once if it is not in used then you can simply once this is done you can simply go here and shut down those nodes why to shut down those nodes because once it is not in needed there is no need of uh, making this up and uh, and because your resources has already been allocated your memory and ram thing so you can i will prefer you just make it on i usually when i this is not in used i will make it shut it down so these things are you can see right i already have made it, made it down so once i'll be like i have to do something then i will make it up and then I, then i will use it but remember you have made through a free tire and your ip address this thing is not static so once you restart your machine it means once you just shut down your instance and try to bring it up in when uh, you have to use you have to note you you will see your uh, ip address has been changed so with your new ip you have to configure your machine not configure you have to just log into your machine the key will be same only so you don't need to worry so everything will be fine all right now we'll see how to install our git and why we are using git these things we'll be discussing it right now